Over here I'm shooting my first Momatis time lapse. I got a tripod over there in the road. Not sure what I got here. Uh, looks like a big cinnamon roll or a big dumpling. From my home base in Kansas City, I've set sight on a severe storm target on the Kansas-Colorado border. 364 miles separate me in a bed made by my favorite girl, Annie, in the town of Oakley, Kansas. I was nearly to Topeka when I realized I had a serious problem. I wonder if that's just coming out of that hose. It doesn't look like it though. So, it's Sunday evening, I've got a leaking radiator, and all repair shops are closed. But I'm hell-bent on chasing supercells for three days on the Great Plains. Time to go shopping for water cans. proceed undaunted into the hot Kansas landscape with a leaking radiator. Thus, my epic storm chase is off to a very irresponsible start. With 15 gallons of water on board, I obsessively watch the temperature gauge, hoping to replenish coolant faster than it can leak out onto the hot pavement of I-70. Pushing myself and a crippled vehicle west, I now have 300 miles to contemplate the insanity of storm chasing. Storm chasing doesn't make sense. I don't make sense. I just want it all to start making sense. In a world of few constants, there is always Annie. The destination is on your right, 428 Center Avenue. Arrived at Annie Oakley Motel. Year after year, she's my port in the storm. I settle in for the night, but I cannot go to bed without first forecasting the setup for tomorrow's storms. Now this beast is starting to wind up on me here. But I seem to have this road all to myself. No one in that direction. No one in this direction. Next day on an isolated farm road, miles from anything or anybody, I'm working under the rain-free base of a supercell thunderstorm. It's in that moment everything becomes clear, and I understand why I'm traversing the Great Plains with a leaky radiator. Whatever I have to do to get here is worth the price. Nothing compares to this being close to the big updrafts, hearing it rumble from within, cinematically capturing its structure and movement. In this moment, it all starts making sense. get myself off this dusty road before it turns to squishy mud. With a satisfied mind, I turn north for Nebraska because the road goes on forever and the chase never ends. The lights and the 